after last night's festivities. The boy has some pink eye. I suspect it's probably from the mud puddle splashing in the face, if I had to guess. Oh right, and there's a rash from his neck to his, never mind. But uh, I think it's probably from the mud puddle splashing, if I had to take a guess. I saw a lot of things going into that puddle that uh, I know I wouldn't want put on my body. But uh, today, on a brighter note, we're heading to the number one attraction in Santa Cruz, and that is Tortuga Bay. The boy wants to know if there'll be turtles in Tortuga Bay. Well, it's kind of in the name, it's true. It is in the name, but not necessarily, because if we don't see turtles, it could just be a poorly named bay, and that sort of thing wouldn't really surprise me either. So uh, we're gonna go check it out, see if we can find some turtles, and if not turtles, whatever else they got to offer, we're gonna check it out. First, we gotta get a cab. Yes. Got it. That worked out pretty well. A dollar fifty to get to Tortuga Bay. Perfectly reasonable. And now we're on our way. See at the bay. Guess what scene I could put right here again? Should I do it? Maybe I'll do it. And now we're on our way. See you at the bay. Just stay out of my way, or you'll pay. Listen to what I say. How about I just go eat some hay? I can make things out of clay and lay by the bay. I just may. What do you say? There goes the taxi. Yeah. And he dropped us off at, at this ramp. And just like yesterday, a taxi dropped us off at a random location and we're sure it'll get us there eventually. So the walk begins and let's great see where time, it takes time. us. This is the entrance. You have to sign in between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So we'll do that now. Hola, buenos días. Buenos días. Gracias. Buenos días. Diez cincuenta y cinco. Gracias. ¿Cuántos Now we are on the 40 minute walk to the actual Tortuga Bay. It's a beautiful walk along this lovely path. We've seen lots of wildlife, we've seen snakes and birds and lizards and all sorts of stuff so far. And uh, the sun it beats down here, so I recommend if you have sensitive skin like us, you might want to bring something to protect yourself. You might look a little weird, but my lord, you'll appreciate it. My skin is still burning from three days ago. She hot here. She real hot. And we are here at the first beach at Tortuga Bay. It is a beautiful beach and it is uh, mainly for surfing because it's got really strong tides and rip tides so they don't recommend that you do much uh, swimming here. As you can see, lifeguard over there. they've got a uh, lifeguard on staff. It's a very beautiful beach for sure, but I think I will go to the next one to swim. But what a world-class beach. Look at that. What a place. The water is actually like aqua What blue. a place. Aqua, aqua. Yeah. What's so funny? Just uh, having a walk with my pal here. How you doing, bud? Enjoying the weather? Having a good day? Yeah, it's pretty hot out here. He's feeling it too. All right, pal, I'll meet up with you later, okay? We'll see you in a bit. 
And now after a quick two, two and a half kilometer walk along a beautiful beach, you reach the swimming beach. It's a beautiful beach. And they say that on both sides along the rocks you can see sharks, uh, white tip sharks, and you may see some sea turtles and well, who knows what we'll see here. I already see fish from here. Right there. Yeah, it's true. I can I can see fish right here walking along the shore, so pretty cool. It's time to go for a dip and a snorkel. Another awesome snorkeling spot. Gotta be careful of some really strong riptide. Uh, right here, it just wants to suck you out in. Back over there, it really wants to just suck you back in too, but uh, beautiful stuff to see. There's no one there when we got in. Now it's packed, because everyone's found out that's where the snorkeling is today. What a spot, that was great. I think it's time to go to our trusted snorkeling hole though.